Hello, my name is Nadia and I'm a scientific officer at the ERC Executive Agency. In this video, I will take you through some key features of the ERC Synergy Grants. I will highlight important things to keep in mind when you are preparing your application. Then, I will guide you through the Synergy evaluation process, which is a bit different from the evaluation of grants for individual researchers. The Synergy grants are meant for researchers willing to collaborate to address an ambitious research problem. Their duration is up to six years. Every Synergy proposal must demonstrate that its objectives can only be achieved through the specific combination of knowledge and skills brought together by the participating PIs. And of course, you need a major scientific question of pressing significance. As ERC funds frontier research, it's important to propose truly novel ideas, not just a continuation of ongoing work or an existing collaboration. As mentioned, the Synergy grants are designed to address a transformative research question that can only be tackled by a group of PIs with the necessary skills and knowledge to carry out the project. All the co-PIs are considered equal at the scientific level, but you will need to choose a corresponding PI, and this is just for us to have a contact point in the team. Synergy grants are designed for groups of two to four PIs. These PIs can be from the same host institution, even from the same department, or they can be spread across multiple institutions. In fact, the geographical distribution of the PI is your choice and can span up to four different countries within the EU or its associated countries. And actually, one of the PIs can even be based at an institution located anywhere in the world. So when forming a team, feel free to select the best people for your project. The whole world is the limit, basically. Synergy grants are unique in another way. PIs at any career stage, from early to advanced, can apply, allowing you to choose really the most relevant collaborators for your team. Of course, the evaluators will take the PI's respective career stage into account when evaluating their CVs and track records. And while it's true that the Synergy grants are designed for interdisciplinary projects, the ERC also funds Synergy projects with PI coming from one single discipline. You just need to make sure each PI brings unique and essential expertise. The Synergy Grant is a long-term commitment. So once the project begins, the team composition is set for the entire six years. This means that the group of PIs you start with is the group of PIs you will finish with. So take the time to carefully select people you are ready to work closely with over this extended period. You will need to make key decisions with them. The compatibility of your team members is essential, not just in terms of expertise, but also in how well you can collaborate, communicate, and share a common vision. That's why before applying, it's worth having discussions about roles, expectations, and how you envision working together. And remember, the success of your project doesn't just depend on scientific excellence, but it also depends on your team's ability to work together synergistically over six years. This is something the evaluators will be assessing as part of your application. As for the proposal structure, it remains the same as for individual grants. It includes the abstract, part B1, the CV and track records of each of the principal investigators, and Part B2. And as for individual grants, evaluators are asked to primarily evaluate the quality of the science proposed and assess that the PIs can ensure scientific excellence. Check out our videos on how to write these different parts and take the time to go through all our essential documents, such as the work program and the information for applicants. Here, I will only focus on the specificities of the Synergy Grants evaluations. I will now describe briefly the evaluation process, highlighting aspects that can help you write your proposal. The assessment of Synergy Grants is done in three steps. When applying for a Synergy Grant, you don't select one specific ERC evaluation panels. 
Rather than choosing a panel, you select ERC descriptors from the full list. You also need to choose some free keywords which best describe your research proposal. And based on this information and your project descriptions, the panel chair will select the most suitable reviewers for your proposal. In step one, the panel members are asked to review your proposal as generalist. So you need to be concise, but clear and avoid jargon. You are talking to scientists here. At step one, they only have access to part B1 of the proposal. This includes just the abstract, the five pages of project description, plus the CV and track records of all the PIs. Based on that limited information, they have to evaluate the quality of the idea, and they also need to assess the qualifications of the PIs. Their goal is to decide whether the proposal is strong enough to move to step two. Within part B1, you need to convince the reviewers of at least three aspects. First, that your project is innovative and groundbreaking. Second, that it has potential for significant scientific impact. And finally, all the PI must have a proven track record. They should also have the most relevant expertise to tackle the research question effectively. The reviewers will evaluate you according to your career stage and should be convinced that each of you brings a unique and key expertise to the project. The project objectives and the role of each PI should appear fully integrated already in Part B1. And during the Step 1 panel meeting, all proposals are reviewed together in one single panel. The panel discussions are based on the written feedback from the panel members and proposals are scored A, B or C. And only the top A scores proposal will pass to Step 2. Congratulations, you made it to step two. Here is what you need to know. So at this stage, the reviewers will evaluate the complete proposals, part B1, the CV and track records of the PIs and part B2. Part B2 include the full methodology, the resource allocation, team organization, and your budget. During the step two, the full proposals is evaluated in more depth by the panel members. And this time, external reviewers selected by the panel members are also involved. These are well-recognized specialists in the field of your proposal, and they also provide a written assessment. During the panel meeting, the panel member will go through all the written feedback carefully and decide whether your proposal should pass to step three or not. Now, the step two process for synergy grants also differs a lot from the processes in other ERC calls. So it's useful to understand these differences. Unlike the fixed panels in other ERC calls, synergy panels are flexible. Synergy grants are designed to support proposals that often require expertise across multiple fields. So to ensure fair evaluation, the synergy panels have what we call a dynamic structure. Let me explain what I mean by this. So at the end of step one, panel chairs decide how to best group the proposals that pass to step two. They group them into five to seven subpanels based on the number of applications passing to step two and the major research fields covered. These subpanels reflect the key areas of research within the proposals. Then the panel members are assigned to these subpanels according to their expertise. While each panel member is assigned to a specific panel, they attend the other panel discussions when their expertise is needed and a proposal they have reviewed is discussed. This dynamic organization ensures that each proposal is evaluated and discussed with the depth and breadth necessary. We will always make sure that the right people are around the table to discuss your proposal. The aim of the step two panel meeting is to agree on a short list of proposals which will pass to step three of the evaluation and be invited for an interview. Here, the panel members score the proposals either A or B, and the top A scored proposal pass to step three. The discussions and the written assessments by the panel members and the remote reviewers will also help them shape the questions for the interview that will take place in step three. So for the step three interview, all PIs need to come to Brussels to participate in an in-person interview, which is not the case for individual grants. 
The reason is mostly because the panel needs to assess the dynamic in your team. And this has turned out to be difficult to assess with online interviews in the past. You will be asked to arrive one hour in advance for us to check with you that your presentation works properly, solve any hiccups and answer your questions if any. You will then wait in a room with other teams until someone from the agency comes and bring you to the interview room. If you have special needs, please don't hesitate to let us know in advance and we will try to find the most suitable setup for you. The interview per se will last about 40-45 minutes in total. The interview is meant to clarify some scientific points in your proposal, like for example, risky objectives, contingency plans, methodology, resources requested, task distribution between team members. The panel also wants to ensure that this is really teamwork and that the Synergy Grant will help you develop the project together. At the start of the interview, you will be asked to shortly present the project and the team. During this short introduction, choose the setting you are most comfortable with and critically assess what you choose to highlight from the project. The project should not come across as several parallel projects running side by side, and it shouldn't look like a single PI project with a few loose collaborations around it. Make sure that the objectives are clearly integrated. They should form a coherent, unified project in the same clear way as in your written proposal. And as for any interview, Practice together, ask colleagues to challenge you with questions. It always helps. Finally, keep in mind that for the panel members, the interviews are actually the highlight of the evaluation process. They are mostly just looking forward to having a scientific discussion with you and knowing more about your team and your project. This is your time to impress the panel by addressing their questions fully and concisely, showing that you have thought carefully about all aspects of your project. So maybe my last piece of advice is try to relax because you will have curious and enthusiastic people in front of you. In this video, I have highlighted the unique aspects of the Synergy Grants evaluation. But please do read carefully the official documents like the work program and the information for applicants. And with that, I wish you the best of luck and hope you'll have fun doing science together.